we arrive to the final call, whosoever will let him come and take the water of life freely. How does the world economy today fit into biblical prophecy? How do we understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God? What is happening in the world today in the news to tell us where we are in prophecy and what we should be preparing for? The Lamb has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals. You can go to our website and our homepage to see our work and view our reports at wildernessmountministry.org. We are recognized as a 5013C tax deductible nonprofit organization. Your gifts are wisely and prayerfully used to get this end time gospel of the kingdom message out. We urge you to prepare and make provisions now while you can and advise you to read the more sure word of prophecy on our blog page. You can get involved learning how to prepare for you, your loved ones, by blessing Israel, see our wheat project of 150 tons of wheat this ministry has raised since 2008 for Jacob, who has spent 10 years setting up emergency centers in the U.S. for Jacob's troubles. Here, you can donate and help for charity calls to feed the poor and help to shelter the homeless who will need our help during Jacob's troubles. Okay, our topic for today is Jacob's troubles and when does it begin in prophecy and what shall we prepare for our brother Steve? This may not be for some of you, but for us as I have the conviction and believe that this nation is on the verge of hearing our leaders declare a national bank holiday. Wow. I ask you, Brother Steve, when you have the Roman dictator ruling this world with a cashless system, how would the world, Christians, Jews, and Arabs react to such a thing? In this time, we call Jacob's Troubles. Will it be a time of betrayal? I believe that the Roman dictator and our leaders will control them by fear of taking away their rights to buy or sell in order to sustain themselves. This will be the betrayal the Bible speaks of, when your own families will become your worst enemies to save Jacob. Wow. We will be discussing the blood moons and God's feast days to tell us when it shall begin. We will be answering some vital questions of events that are going on now in the news to tell us where we are and how we can help Jacob get home with your financial help and support to help us prepare, feed, and shelter them in these emergency centers Wilderness Mountain Ministry has prepared in the U.S. for the time of Jacob's troubles. Brother Jackie, what did you mean when you said, seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand, in Revelation 22.10. Brother Steve, John was referring to the last one week of Daniel, coming to the last seven years of the seven seals to begin, Daniel's 70th week, and the last four thunders of Revelation 6.22 with the rider of the white horse under a false peace ruler as a Roman dictator over the beast with seven heads, ten horns, to make war with the whole world, the Christians, the Jews, for the last 42 months, and set up a new worldwide economic system where you cannot buy or sell without the number of the Roman dictator's mark or image of a statue that they will set up and calls all to bow to the image that we believe to be the statue of Mary. Read Revelation 13, folks, Revelation 17 to confirm. You can see, Brother Steve, with the Pope's visit to the U.S. in 2015, 
to unite all the religions that is in the ancient Roman Empire new world order being restored right now under Rome to use the United Nations peace keeping forces to bring all religions together in America by crashing the worldwide economy we believe in the year of 2015 under the Roman dictator ruling over foreign national leaders. Now we have the beast that was and is. And the bottomless pit is called the revived ancient Roman Empire of the 21st century over who shall rule over the new world order by a religious leader and that's over 10 kings that started the Holocaust in World War II. Wow. This is to occur again as the beast it was and is and about to make its move. So are you ready? Brother Steve, will this trigger anti-Semitism worldwide and in America? Like never before, except a reminder of what happened to the Christians and the Jews during the Holocaust. All right, Brother Steve, what does Isaiah say about the time of tribulations called Jacob's trouble. Well, in Isaiah 11, 10, and 11, it confirms, And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And 11, 11, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set up his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Patros, from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Okay, we can see that happen in 1948. Uh, what is Wilderness Mountain Ministry all about? Let's read. Isaiah 11, 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. And gather together the disperse of Judah from the four corners of the earth. God said, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob as we read the scriptures. Let's read some of the scriptures that describes Jacob's troubles, Brother Steve. Well, in Jeremiah 30, verse 3, it says, For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave their fathers, and they shall possess it. In 30, verse 4, And these are the words of the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. In 30, verse 5, For thus saith the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And in 30, verse 6, Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with a, with a child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. And 30, verse 7, it says, Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. We need to prepare now, folks. Get ready. Let's look at Ezekiel chapter 38, 39, prophecy concerning the time of God. And may God, when Russia and China begins to rule the world, Brother State. Yes, in Ezekiel 30, 25, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and I will be jealous for my holy name. And the scriptures below is describing the tribulation of these days in 39, 26. After that they have borne their shame, and all their trespasses, whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. In 39 verse 27, When I have brought them again from the people, and gathered them out of the enemy's lands, and I am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. 39 verse 28, Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which, I, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them out unto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. In 
39, 29, Neither will I hide my face any more from them. For I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Brother Jackie, when do you believe Jacob's trouble will begin with this final outpouring of God's spirit upon Jacob? And what is the signs? All right, Brother Steve. Uh, if you notice in God's clock, in the significant of the blood moon is 2015, around God's feast days and Passover, we know that it spells out the beginning and the ending of time of God's creation under the law and grace with Moses to Christ. Now, if you remember, Peter called it a day known by the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Referring to Genesis is when God created everything in six days, which is six thousand years, and he rested on the seventh day, called, called it the Sabbath, and folks, that's that. Now, in Leviticus, you got Moses, who was handed down the law to all of Israel for the statues forever, to every generation to observe them as God's clock. You'll find the scriptures tell us that the first month of the Hebrew calendar called Aviv, which is our fourth month of April, began the outpouring of the former and the latter rain. And, the, and this, this lines up with the blood moons, Passover 2015, and the month of Aviv. What is Jacob's trouble? Brother Steve, this is a time when God says, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob, and I will have mercy upon the Jews that were dispersed throughout all the nations. Where God says, I will a second time regather them and bring them home, Isaiah 11, 11, and 12, to save them from all their enemies. It is t a time of trouble when all nations form an alliance in Europe under a Roman dictator to come against Israel and the whole world to cut them off from buying and selling without a new identification card embedded with a chip, mark, or number. Now in Revelation 13, Revelation 17, is called the beast with seven heads and ten horns, called Mystery Babylon. This is where Jeremiah compelled God's people to come out of her and flee for your lives, referring to the time of great persecution and anti-Semitism. It's also called the time of great tribulations, where the beast with seven heads and ten horns under the Roman Empire by changing times and laws, will rule the whole world for a time, times and a half, which is 42 minutes, according to Daniel chapter 12. Brother Jackie, how will we know we are in Jacob's trouble? Well, we're going to see the collapse of the worldwide economy. As you can see in the news, the standoff between our president, Obama, and the Russian president, Vladimir Putin who warned us, the U.S. and Europe, that if we impose sanctions upon them and their move to take over Europe, Ukraine, Poland, that Russia, China, and all their ally, allies will crash the dollar, shutting down the banks and all business, business systems until order is restored. You're going to see our president announce a bank holiday this will call for the UN peacekeeping forces made up of foreign troops to come in for order out of chaos. Brother Jackie, what should the Jews and the Christians be doing to avoid anti-Semitism? They should be preparing state places to get off the grid, to get ready for their flight. Like I said well ago, as a plan to find a highway that leads back to their homeland called an ensign. You can find that in Isaiah 11, 11 and 12, the final exodus. Uh, they need to get off the grid. They need to uh, prepare to come out of her, out of the economic system, 
to where they're going to be limited to, to function in the uh, economic system. Brother Jackie, what has Wilderness Mountain Ministry done to make it possible to help the Jews during this crisis? Well, we have prepared places in America to feed, shelter them. They will be fleeing the metropolitan areas because of the high populated areas of Muslims under the Sharia law. Now, they, who have been training in America since 2008 under our leaders to wage war against the Jews, Christians, and for what they call the infidels. Wilderness Mountain Ministry has raised 150 tons of kosher red wheat, like Joseph, to sustain them during their flight to flee to the wilderness places prepared in America and in, and in Israel. Brother Jackie, what are your needs to help you accomplish your goal? Well, with this Joseph project, Brother Steve, we need God's people to respond now for financial support to go on more radio broadcasts to reach Jews in other major cities, to let them know about us and how they can get involved. We also need other Christians and Jews support to support this work and help us accomplish this work of God for the charity purpose. And this is your chance to make a tax-deductible contribution this year before this year is up. Uh, we need financial support to get this 150 tons of wheat that is dried, bagged, and pelletized out of a warehouse and transfer it where it will be the most needed. In America, in, in some containers, even in Israel. We need your help now to purchase seven containers to keep it and where it can be used in a timely manner time is of the essence to save lives in these refuge places, in these refuge places, Brother Steve. So we are Brother Jackie, Brother Steve at wildernessmountainministry.org, and I want to give out our info if you would like to uh, donate to uh, Wilderness Mountain Ministry to feed and shelter Jacob during the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, we are wildernessmountainministry.org. You can view our weekly reports on the blog page. There you will see a PayPal button where you can donate. And you can write me at Brother Jackie at wildernessmountainministry.org. Again, that's Brother Jackie at wildernessmountainministry.org. You can also Send a check or a money order to Wilderness Mountain Ministry, P.O. Box 527, that's Walterboro, W-A-L-T-E-R-B-O-R-O, South Carolina, 29488. Again, that's Walterboro, W-A-L-T-E-R-B-O-R-O, South Carolina, 29488. I gave you the P.O. Box 527. Uh, Brother Steve, we need uh, to reach out in the metropolitan areas. We have places. We have places in Wisconsin, South Carolina, and in America. And we have been endeavoring to get at least uh, maybe the majority of this week sent into Israel. I believe that, uh, you know, that will help sustain some of the immigrants on their flight back. We have enough here uh, in store to last at least 42 months. As you asked me the question earlier, you know, about what should we be doing to prepare for. And so we need to... Uh, at least store up for three and one half years. I believe that we're going to see under the blood nose 2015 and God's feast days. I believe we're going to see the beginning of Jacob's troubles, economic collapse because of the sanctions again one more time. 
can you describe what kind of, one more time, the conditions and what an economic collapse would do to this world and this America? Well, we know that if we have an economic collapse that's going to lock up all your cards that you use, whether they be debit cards or checks, uh, money transfers, we know that an economic collapse is going to make it literally impossible for you to function as you are today. And it's going to be very, very difficult for anybody that's not prepared ahead of time to uh, have the basic necessities of life. Food, water, heat, shelter, the basics of living. And it, it is going to be a very, the Bible says it's going to be a very trying time like no other time since there was a nation. That's right, Brother Steve. Uh, people, this is a very serious hour that we're living in. And I uh, just wanted you to know where Revelation chapter 22, you can read there, look at verse 10, where it says, Seal not up the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. And I, I believe that was referring to the drawing of the line for the Gentile door of grace coming to a close on Passover 2015. The switch where God says, I will pour my spirit out upon Jacob. Now we, we know that's referring to the natural branches. We know that we are grafted in as the wild olive trees. We, we are understand in Romans chapter 11 that it's our job to have mercy upon the Jewish people. Uh, they don't understand. They're still under the law, under the five books of Moses, and they don't understand about the three and a half year drought that's going to fall Israel. I believe probably start around Passover 2015. Well, the other issue, not only because of the economy, collapsing. If you'll remember, history repeats itself. Back in Germany and in Europe, uh, times are very difficult financially and they blamed it on the Jews uh, because they were successful business people and successful bankers and uh, so they used them as the fall guy. And again, we're going to see that pattern repeat here again in this country and across the whole world. And it's going to be very difficult to move from one point to another point. If you remember the Holocaust, uh, uh, people had very, very difficult time moving from one country to another country in Europe, or even in uh, from Germany to Poland, or from Germany out of Europe uh, into other uh, uh, safer areas. It's going to be the same issue again. Unfortunately, most don't believe it. And you know, the world governments are about to make a believer out of us one more time. Yes, Brother Dave, and you can see anti-Semitism on the rise in Israel, and in America, and in France, and Europe, like never before, yes. It's just the beginning. Uh, just think about what's going to happen when the economic collapse. As the, as the Arabs have been training in America for years to attack the Jews and the Christians and build infidels. You can see that on the video. Let's face it, Christians, fellow Christians, and our Jewish brothers and sisters, we're going to need one another again like never before. And we need to trust one another again like never before. If yes. We, if you remember during the Holocaust, there were many Christians who saved many Jewish lives and they were preparing long before the oppression uh, started in Germany. They were preparing hiding places, food, transportation, an underground network. And of course, we have been doing some groundwork over the last 10 years. And we need your support. We need your help. We can't. This is not a one-man band or a one-man show. This is a concerted effort by all of our fellows that have a love for Jacob, 
and the love for their fellow Christians. All right, Brother Stade, God bless brothers and sisters out there. Help us reach out. Uh, just help Jacob, feed Jacob in uh, these places we have prepared. And help us get this weed out of storage and help us purchase the seven containers. It's going to cost a lot of money here. Stephen and I have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. We have those places. If you want to get involved, get involved now and make it count while you can. While you can. And uh, again, send, this is Brother Jackie, Brother Steve at wildernessmountministry.org. Go to our website. You can read about all about us and learn about us. And contact me. My contact number is Brother Jackie, 843 uh, 599 or Brother Steve, 715-567-0808. And we are about to uh, sign off here. Again, this is Wilderness Mountain Ministry. Send your donations to P.O. Box 527, Walterboro, W-A-L-T-E-R-O, B-O-R-O, South Carolina, 29488. Or on my homepage, blog page, PayPal. So, okay, we're signing off. This is Brother Jackie, Brother Steve. Until next time. God bless you, uh, and shalom. Have we arrived to the final call? Whosoever will let him come and take the water of life freely. How does the world economy today fit into biblical prophecy? How do we understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God? What is happening in the world today in the news to tell us where we are in prophecy and what we should be preparing for? The Lamb has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals.